It's very painful, especially when I spent most of my life being what I would consider a very loving, caring, uh, charitable man and someone who has always protected my own image until the time, not wanting to disappoint uh, the millions of fans that I have around the world. And, and it's, it's very humbling and it's also humiliating. Yes, I am most definitely an alcoholic, and, and the interesting thing about it and the way you end up with multiple DUIs, I, I never got arrested for anything until I was basically 60 years old. And um, I, I have very, very strong um, values about what I am and who I am. I've done an enormous amount of bringing light into people's lives, and I'm very proud of that and touching and inspiring people. But I had been lying to myself and consequently lying to everyone about my disease. I certainly never drank or took any drugs or narcotics, contrary to whatever has been printed mm. when I was doing the Partridge family or, or thereafter, for that matter. She just say it made me an you know, made me a freaking and, um, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't authentic. It's because I have an allergy to it. My personality changes. I'm not aware of it. I never stop talking, you know. It's, it's, it's obnoxious. It's embarrassing. I dropped to my knees and I felt something go through me that was like, I felt this, I felt this experience that was just like, thank you, God. I felt this relief. I begged it, and I was crying and weeping like a little boy, like a, like a sobbing little infant, like I'm sure I did many times as a kid. And I felt this incredible sense of relief because I stopped lying to myself. If I take another drink, I'm going to die. Physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, I'm dead. You know, they say it's a slippery slope. Uh-uh, it's not a slippery slope. It's from 12 to 6 on the clock, and the whole face is ice. One sip, one drink, because there is no such a thing, not to an alcoholic. You have one, and you're, you're done. I'd be done.